Hey, mini fish. Still the 6th of November 2017. And I was just doing a little mid morning reading here, random book and chapter, and it landed me on Ezekiel 8. And it talks about how God brings him up into Jerusalem in a vision and shows him the abominations of the temple and of the people. Okay? The wicked abominations. He saw every form of creeping thing and abominable beasts and the idols. And he stood before them 70 men of the ancients. Okay? Son of man, hast thou seen what the ancients of the house of Israel do in the dark? Every man in the chambers of his idols, his imagery. And he goes on. He shows him the women at the door weeping for Tammuz, which is both a deity, Nimrod, Osiris, Tammuz, basically the same thing. And it's also a month in the Hebrew calendar. Okay? And on the 17th of Tammuz in the Hebrew calendar is essentially their Jewish. 9-11. This is when Moses broke the tablets when he came down and found them worshipping the golden calf. It's also when the temple was destroyed. It's also when the... many things. This is the essential Jewish 9-11. And I did some videos back in July, which is when this fell. This fell on the 11th of July, 7-11. And I did some videos pertaining to this then. But when I ran into this Tammuz, it was just put upon me to look up these dates because back then I was, I was looking up these dates. And so I go in and I go from the 17th of Tammuz, which is the 11th of July, to the eclipse and it's 40 days. I have that here somewhere, but it's 40 days. Okay? So, from their 9-11 to the eclipse, these are Osiris worshippers, mind you. These are the Jews who say they are Jews, but are not. They are sorcerers. They are magicians and alchemists. They follow the Kabbalah. This is very important to them. Okay? You got to understand that. And from the eclipse to today is 77 days. Okay? In the Kabbalah, 77 is a big, big deal. It's like the number. That, those combinations are just synchronicity, harmony in their words. Okay, so we got from their 9-11 to the eclipse, there's the 40 days. The 40 days that Moses had to go back up onto Sinai and have God dictate to him the new commandments which Moses did with his hands as opposed to God created the first set so I thought that was very interesting and so that brings us 77 days to today right from the eclipse their God the eclipse Nimrod Osiris 77 in the Kabbalah is the number and that's where we wind up with 77 days today from the eclipse. And we could go into all the numbers and combinations associated with it. And to me, it just spells something could be definitely rotten in Denmark today. And it comes to me late like this sometimes, but here it is. And on top of that, from the Jewish 9-11, July 11th to today is 119 days. Today is November 6th. Turn that upside down and backwards like they do with everything and you get 9-11. Flip this backwards, you get 9-11. We could do things with these numbers again, but I'm not here to show you that. I'm just giving you this connection between these lying Kabbalist sorcerer magicians. Okay? This connection's important. I believe this. I do. 70, 40 days Moses went back up and it lands you on the eclipse. And then 77 days later, the magic number, the Kabbalah magic number, lands you on today. 119 days total. 
Well, I'd say that's something worth looking at, so that's why I'm telling y'all. This stuff comes to us. We are shown these things for a reason. If nothing else, it encourages us that God is with us and he's just keeping us, you know, with him. And we keep looking up. Heads up today, though. That's what I'm getting. So, seek Jesus. Peace and grace to you. Any fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 